Inside these walls, two people at a time are fulfilling a promise made 160 years ago. That promise is prayer, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's the mission of the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration and lay people associated with the sisters called prayer partners. Our founding um, mothers and fathers wrote a charter of agreements in 1848 on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, which is December 8th. And that's the same year that Wisconsin became a state, ironically. And these women, men and women were lay men and women, and they had a very devo strong devotion to the Eucharist, very strong devotion to prayer. So they brought with them these traditions. And as a result of that, our history is steeped in prayer. The sisters pray for the world, but they also pray for you. Sister Walton knows because she's in charge of responding to your prayer requests. You can make them through their website or through the mail. She answers them during the week, and it keeps her quite busy. On a big day, like on Monday when I come back and I haven't answered them since Friday afternoon, um, I will get probably as many from 80 to 120. She says there are all kinds of requests. Praying for one's health is common, for example, but certainly not the only request. We get a lot for the economy right now, employment. Students will pr call, write or call and say, please pray for me, I have this big test. Or Jim is up for his uh, medical boards, please pray for him. Sister Walton says before assuming this role, she was not a computer person. But in a rather strange twist of fate, after reading about all the difficulty some people face, she says the computer has become a source of comfort. There are days when you're pulled in three different directions, and sometimes the calmest effect I have is going to that computer. She doesn't take much credit for her contribution. That belongs to the sisters who are praying, she says. But Sister Walton is quite satisfied with her role and looks forward to her job every day. I'm honored, I'm in awe, and I just feel like in my very small way, in my little huddle of an office, that I'm able to make a difference in someone's life.